This year, it will be 50 years since Volvo's safety engineer Niels Bolin designed the three-point seat belt. One of Volvo's most important innovations and almost certainly the most important invention in the whole history of traffic safety. It's a technology that's reckoned to have saved more than a million lives and I think it will continue to save a million more in the coming years. It still has a great potential, specifically looking at usage. So it's, been a, it's ha had a tremendous effect for sure. Niels Bolin realized at an early stage that both the upper and lower areas of the body must be securely restrained with a belt over the chest area and another over the thighs. The greatest challenge was to create a solution that was both simple and effective, as it had to be possible to access and fasten the seat belt with one hand. A great many tests were required before it became possible to apply for a patent for the three-point seat belt. At that time many people were very scared, uh, hesitating about how to be restrained the best way, so it was, uh, it was very, uh, a very strong decision to implement this in cars. The effectiveness of the three-point seat belt quickly spread throughout the whole of the motor industry and car world, thanks to the fact that Volvo very quickly made Bolin's patent available to other car manufacturers. Well, the seat belt is the most important safety device fitted to any vehicle today. And since its inception, we've seen literally hundreds of thousands of lives saved um, with its fitment. And it really represented the very beginnings of modern vehicle safety. Well, it saved literally thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of lives uh, around the world. And what's been particularly important about it is it made it easier for people to protect them in, in uh, uh, cars by you know, one, one motion that they could buckle up. In, in the United States now, we're seeing uh, probably 15,000 people uh, a year whose lives are saved just by the act of buckling up their safety belt. So in 1959, the three-point seat belt was introduced as standard equipment in the Volvo Amazon and the PV544 on the Nordic markets. And Volvo thereby became the first car manufacturer in the world to fit seat belts as standard. To get the message through, to, to convey the world that this is actually something good, was something that took a lot of effort uh, from Volvo and Nils Bolin. They did a, a world tour demonstrating it, uh, they did stunts, they did all these tests, showed all this data, but it took uh, a number of years before uh, the general public and also uh, the different governments around the world were, were persuaded that this is really a good technology, this is something that we should uh, enforce, which happened during the 70s and 80s. So I think that's uh, a recognition that uh, the working process that Volvo established at that time, that's, that's giving effect. Bolin's invention was deemed to be so important that the German Patents Office declared it to be one of the eight patents that have had the greatest importance to mankind over a 100-year period from 1885 to 1985. There are few people who have saved so many lives as Niels Bolin, and today's traffic researchers absolutely agree. 25 years ago, the UK started mandatory belt laws whereby you had to use a seatbelt, it was required by the law. And since then, apparently 45,000 lives have been saved. And what we say in the UK is one life is saved every day by wearing a seatbelt. In 2009, the seatbelt is still the most effective protection in a traffic accident. Both cars and seatbelts are of course considerably better today. And here at Volvo's safety division, they are continually working to further develop Niels Bolin's exceptional invention. The next generation of safety belt will be improved safety belts. Uh, it will be the same principle where you load the occupant in the most uh, strong parts of the body. It will be more adaptive, adapted to the size of the occupant and uh, crash severity, and more user-friendly. Well, the use can be improved. We still have a, a substantial portion of uh, people in the U.S. who aren't uh, buckling up. And as a result, we believe that if we could get everybody buckled up, we could save another 5,000 lives a year. It's 5,000 deaths that we could prevent if, if everybody would just buckle up. Now, what can we do to achieve that? One of the key things we can do, I think, is to have an effective reminder system in cars where the, the, the car will electronically remind you if you haven't uh, buckled up that uh, safety belt by some noise that, that you would like to turn off. 
the other thing in the U.S. we need to do is we need some better laws. The way we've gotten uh, most of our population to buckle up is through uh, safety belt use laws. If you look at a three-point safety belt 50 years ago compared to a three-point safety belt today, it's a huge difference. The basic principles are still there. You can put it on using one hand. It has a good geometry. It's holding the upper body, the lower body. But if you look at the specific technologies with pretensioners, uh, load limiters, pre-prepared restraints, all of that, there's been a significant development of the safety belt and the restraint itself. And that era will continue. We've been looking at four-point belts, etc. But whatever we will do, we'll still have those basic principles that were established by Nils Bolinin in 58-59.